you started bodybuilding as a vegan and we tell us how your protein consumption evolved. Uh, I, I had read that you don't, you like protein powder. Um, but I imagine that back then that oh, might yeah. be one of the only sources. And so I did do protein powder, but you know, protein can give you so much nitrogen excess that it causes gas and those things. So I definitely would only do one protein shake a day per se, like just because I didn't want to deal with all of that. Mm -hmm. When I hired the trainer who could get me ready for bodybuilding and she helped me go pro, we would do a lot of research. So there is, I forget, I think it's by Explore Asian. I should know this because I ate it every day and I hate that I ate one thing every day, but it was a black bean noodle that they had been able to extract like a lot of, I don't know what out, but it did not have a ton of carbohydrate because it was black beans. I think it was like, I don't know how many grams of, of carbohydrates, but it wasn't anything crazy, maybe 17 grams or so, but it was 40 grams of protein. Wow. So my, co my coach at that time made me eat that every day. Like I haven't eaten that. I mean, I ate it every day for a year, you know, and I mean, obviously with a protein shake and then you have like your beans, your lentils, your quinoa, you know, all those other things. Every food pretty much has some trace amount of protein, but you know, the, the amount of times I had to eat this black bean noodles, I was at Disney with my family eating it out of a plastic bag, you know, just cold. And so I, I don't know that I ever want to eat those again, but you know, it was definitely hard in the beginning just because, and tofu has always been a part of that too, but I do that more now just because that and tempeh, you know, just because it provides me with the protein my body likes as well as textured vegetable protein. So like your pea proteins, reconstituting that and making like TVP burgers or adding black beans to that. But it would just take so much work to try to get all the protein into, you know, your meal plan for that day. And also trying to keep the carbohydrates at a certain level where that's not going up. So I would say that's the biggest challenge with vegan nutrition when your fitness goals require you to have to have your protein at a certain level. Because I really didn't have as much muscle mass, you know, that most people would have thought because of how much I was running you know, for so many years. So it was so important to have my protein 120, 130, you know, until it was time to get on stage. And I mean, we were able to do that, but thankfully eating a vegan diet, you digest it so easily, you're not full long, <laughs> you know, but I had to eat large volumes of food. So I was eating for volume.